Before failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton faced an email investigation, she was caught in another political scandal. Reports say Clinton was close to indictment in connection with the Whitewater investigation. And now Judicial Watch wants to know how close. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. The National Archives has confirmed that draft indictments of Hillary Clinton related to the Whitewater scandal do in fact exist, but has refused to release them. Now Judicial Watch is following up in the U.S. Court of Appeals to compel the release of these draft indictments of Hillary Clinton to the public. The court was very concerned about making sure that Mrs. Clinton's privacy rights were protected, and it seemed a bit ironic that the, the Justice Administration under the Trump, uh, the Justice Department under the Trump administration would be defending Mrs. Clinton's privacy, but that's, that's what was going on in court today. Uh, they are concerned that um, it will violate her privacy if a draft indictment accusing her of crimes is made public. A draft indictment accusing Mrs. Clinton of crimes, says Paul Orfanides of Judicial Watch. The alleged crimes stem from the special prosecutor investigation into the Whitewater matter in which Mrs. Clinton may have provided false information and withheld evidence. Although the investigation dates from the 1990s, Orfanides says releasing these draft indictments now is very much in the public interest. What we're trying to get is the draft indictments, what seems to be the net result of all this effort, and, uh, and to, to see how close the, uh, the prosecutors were to investigate, to, to indicting Mrs. Clinton. So, um, you know, we think there's just a great public interest in seeing how this special prosecutor operated see how it bears on you know whether or not we should have special prosecutors going forward what the current special prosecutor is doing i mean it's 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 hard to say there's no public interest at all we think there's a, a very weighty public interest a weighty public interest which may trump any privacy that might be left in mrs clinton's case says orphanides does mrs clinton have a right to privacy uh, certainly she has a right to privacy, but the issue here is how much information is already out there about this. So on this subject matter, with respect to what she was doing at the Rose Law Firm and, and what prosecutors were looking at, I, I think there's no privacy left. Orfanides noted that Judicial Watch is still being opposed by the Justice Department despite an election and a new administration, which is, he says, a good example of the deep state in action. A decision by the U.S. Court of Appeals could come in six to nine months. John Hines, One America News, Washington.